Today, the committee is marking up legislation to address the threat posed by the Iranian regime to our nation, to our interests, and our allies. One Congress after another have passed Iran sanctions bills only to see them progressively weakened during the uh, legislative process or not fully enforced by the executive branch. Some might wonder if it's worth doing at all. Well, yesterday speaking in the so-called uh, Iranian parliament, the so-called president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad publicly admitted that sanctions against Iran were impacting his financial institutions, stating, quote, our banks cannot make international transactions, transactions anymore, end quote. But there's much more to be done. We must move quickly to tighten exist existing sanctions and add new and tougher ones, as we are going to do today. The Iranian regime's Achilles heel is its energy sector. As far back as 1995, former Under Secretary of State Peter Tarnoff stated, quote, a straight line links Iran's oil income and its ability to sponsor terrorism and build weapons of mass destruction. And any private company that helps Iran expand its oil sector must accept that it is indirectly contributing to this menace, end quote. The Iran Threat Reduction Act is designed to clamp new and tougher sanctions on Iran's energy sector, threatening the regime's existence if it refuses to halt its nuclear weapons program. Negotiations and concessions after concessions to the regime have only been met with contempt. For 15 years, foreign energy companies have continued to provide, through their investments in Iran's energy sector, the financial resources for the regime to continue to pursue its nuclear ambitions, its chemical and biological weapons program, and its sponsorship of international terrorism. Fifteen years of pleading, fifteen years of concessions have only allowed the Iranian threat to steadily build. In its report earlier this year, the International Atomic Energy Agency all but stated outright that the evidence indicates that Iran is working on a nuclear we weapons capability. We have wasted years. We have watched the threat develop, and now we must act before time runs out. I'm happy to say that H.R. 1905 has 343 co-sponsors from both sides of the aisle, including most members of this committee. Given that you are familiar with the introduced bill, I will briefly note some of the provisions of the amendment in the nature of a substitute. The amendment in the nature of a substitute amends Title I of the bill by including a requirement that all entities currently granted an exemption under the special rule terminate their activities uh, one year from the date of the enactment. Also, adding bartering to the list of prohibited services related to Iran's importation of refined petroleum and requiring the President to impose sanctions on any person or who purchases, subscribes to, or facilitates the issuance of Iranian sovereign debt. The changes to Title II include requiring the Secretary of State to issue guidelines describing goods, services, and technologies considered as sensitive technologies, and expanding the definition of foreign subsidiary in existing executive orders. The amendment in the nature of a substitute sharpens Title III's intended impact on the Iranian Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, by adding prohibitions on conducting commercial or financial transactions or investment in entities controlled by the IRGC, sanctions against affiliates of the IRGC, and measures targeting foreign persons, entities, and foreign countries aiding the IRGC. Finally, Title VI is strengthened by prohibiting foreigners who engage in certain activities with respect to Iran from entering the U.S. and increasing the civil and criminal penalties under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act. Following the mar markup, I will seek speedy consideration of this legislation on the House floor. I hope that the Senate will act with similar urgency or on this or any bill, actually, so that we can proceed to conference quickly and have these bills on the President's desk in time to hand the regime a nice holiday present. I now turn to my friend, the ranking member 
for the remarks that he would like to make on this bill 